All right. Uh, so I guess now you understand what the plan was. Absolutely. At Colts Law, we talk Indianapolis Colts football. We're going to stick to what we know, fundamentals and technique, 1% better every day. How's it going, Will? What's up, hey, Don? Good. All right, we'll go ahead and get started with Destin Adams. Sorry there. Um, hey, Will, thanks for doing this. Um, I know that you worked with Paul Alexander um, during the draft process and maybe before that. How did that training prepare you for the Colts blocking systems with Coach Strasher? Um, yeah, you know, working with uh, Coach was great, you know, um, doing it at a high level for so many years, you know, definitely um, bringing his knowledge, um, you know, to what, what we're doing now. Um, you know, it's helped me out a ton just um, – any, anytime you've done it at that level for so long, um, you know, the knowledge leaks over and, you know, it's helped me out so far. Andrew Thompson. Hi, Will. Thanks again for taking the time to do this. Uh, my question for you is, given your versatility that you had while in college, is that something that maybe Coach Strauser or Chris Ballard or Coach Reich uh, talked to you about um, in terms of what you could potentially bring to the offense. I know the Colts had Joe Haig, an offensive lineman that was very versatile here a few years ago. Is that something you maybe look to bring uh, to the offense? Yeah, definitely. I think, um, you know, the more that you can do, um, you know, always the better, you know, especially at, uh, you know, this level. And, um, you know, that's what uh, my plan is, you know, be able to play, you know, all five positions, um, you know, play them all at a high level, um, you know, knowing all the – the schemes and techniques for everything is, um, you know, definitely a goal of mine and something I want to continue to keep uh, working on. Jeremy Swopes. Thank you for your time today, Will. Uh, maybe you could tell me a little bit about coming from the Big Ten and playing at Penn State, the difference uh, in the, the talent level that you've played against there versus the, the talent level that you, you face now and uh, how, I don't know, how, how you've adjusted to that so far. Yeah, I think playing in the Big Ten, you uh, you know play a lot of you know high level guys, a lot of you know first, second round draft picks. Um, you know while I was at Penn State, and you know there's no you know no different when I'm here. You know everyone here is uh, really elite, really good. Um, you know I think playing at Penn State, you know playing against those guys has helped me with that transition. But obviously, you know when you get to the uh, NFL, and uh, you know guys are you know just that much more explosive, that much faster. Um, you know having those uh, reps. Uh, you know, in the back of my mind, it's definitely helped, and it's, um, you know, going forward, going to keep uh, helping me. Cody Felger. Hey, Will, how's it been so far working alongside guys like Quentin Nelson, Ryan Kelly, Mark Golinski, Braden Smith, some of those guys that are a big part of one of the better offensive lines in the league? Yeah, it's been awesome. You know, I think, um, you know, being the rookie, I want to, you know, absorb everything I can from them. Those guys have played, you know, so many snaps at such a high level and, you know, they're a really tight group. Um, you know, I just want to do everything I can to keep learning from, you know, they, uh, all their techniques, you know, all the nuances of the game. I want to keep, you know, absorbing those sort of things. And, um, you know, they've all been great, you know, help me out with uh, technique stuff as I'm making this transition. And I uh, look forward to keep learning from them. Lawrence Owen. Hello, Will. Um, my question is, football is a very emotional sport, especially at the position that you play. I'm curious how you balance uh, letting like that, that fire and drive uh, get you to a point where you can get the advantage over a guy in front of you and yet trying to keep your calm so that you don't make a mistake or miss something. Yeah, I think um, kind of like you said, in my mindset's always been, um, you know, play just very even keeled. You don't want to get too high. You don't want to get too low. You know, I found when you, when you get too high, you get too hyped up. Um, you just, you know, can't think and react like you should. But when you're playing, you know, even keeled, you know, you're locked in, you're focused, you can react, you know, to the situation you have at hand. And, you know, when the game is that much faster, I think be able to, you know, think clearly and, uh, you know, react and play as fast as you can, um, you know, is just really, really key. Oh, sorry. Matthew Radden. Yes, sir. Really appreciate you, Will, doing this. Yeah, no problem. Yes, sir. So you would, uh, man, you played basically every position um, um, on the O-line in Penn State, man. Is there a preferred position for you? Like, let's say, you know, your ideal scenario coming into the NFL. Um, you know, Matt, you know, there's, I don't know if there really is an ideal scenario when, uh, you know, you just want to, you know, fight to get better every single day. Um, 
you know, obviously, I've, you know, played the most of my, you know, reps at Penn State on the right side. Mm-hmm. Um, but I feel comfortable playing, you know, anywhere. You know, that's not really a big issue for me. You know, in practice, I'm taking reps everywhere. You know, I'm trying to, you know, balance it out, get comfortable both sides, you know, and I have been. So uh, I feel good playing anywhere. All right, we'll go back to Destin Adams. You mentioned earlier playing in the Big Ten, you were able to play against a lot of eventual first and second round picks on the defensive line position. So what what game or what player did you match up against in college at one point that really made you think, yeah, I can make it at the next level as well? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if there was ever that exact moment for me. I think that um, especially when I was a younger guy, you know, um, you know, redshirt freshman, um, you know, playing against some of these guys and, you know, being able to, you know, play well, um, you know, that just gives you confidence week in and week out, you know. You never have a break, you know, who you're going against. You, you always have, you know, a top-notch guy. And, uh, you know, that's the same thing, you know, that's going to be at this level. So being able to have that focus and have that confidence, um, being able to study guys and, you know, kind of have that um, that plan going against certain players, um, it just gives you confidence going into week in, week out, you know, just keep playing, at, you know, at that high level. All right, Cody Felger. Well, you guys have a few weeks until you guys start training camp. I'm curious for you, are there any particular things in your game you're looking to refine or get better in before that time? Yeah, I think there's, you know, uh, a, a lot of work I still want to do. Um, kind of like I was saying before, I want to get better every single day. Um, to get more specific with it, I just want to keep working on my posture. Um, you know, that's something that uh, I just want to keep, you know, being a lead at, uh, you know, keep uh, working those fundamentals um, that it takes to play off into line. I think that's the most important thing. Um, you know, just working to get out of my stance, you know, things like that, you know, that you have to do every single play to be successful. Um, you know, I just want to work on those little things and just keep uh, getting good at those things. All right, and then we'll finish up here with Lawrence Owen. So the Indianapolis Colts offensive line is a very tight-knit group. They kind of look out for each other and, and things of that nature. Since you've been here, um, has there been anyone uh, in particular or as a group in a whole that has really, like, taken you in, given you advice, tips, things of that nature? Yeah, I felt like uh, Quentin Nelson, the guy that's, you know, uh, helped me out a lot so far, you know, just as far as uh, helped me out with plays, um, you know, technique, uh, things like that. You know, um, he, he's just helped me out and, uh, you know, I appreciate him uh, doing that for me. All right. Thank you, Will. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Have a good one, guys. Thanks, Will. All right. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Just because a guy's a player's not a household name doesn't mean we can't make him a household name.